What's up guys and welcome to Peter's house and welcome back to a brand new three random horror games video As you guys know this is a series where we check out three completely random horror games And we play them all in one video so grab your snacks and get ready This is gonna be a fun video now this first game we have here is Peter's house I guess we're gonna be breaking into Peter's house and finding what secrets it has inside now The next game though is called Garden of Ban Ban reincarnated It's apparently a remake of Garden of Ban Ban that was made in one me one week not one meek And it's supposed to be a scarier version of the original game and then the final game we have here is see no fear which which I guess we're gonna be seeing fear in that game or none of it actually so let's go ahead and press play though and hop into Peter's house That sounds weird to say uh, phone rings. Okay. Hello. This is Steve from able movers. How can I help you? Hey, Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight Sure, we can definitely help you out with that. Can you give me about a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes. And I need to move on my new house. I need to move on to my new house I'll be out tonight. So the door will be unlocked. Oh, yeah Yeah, just tell a random guy that your door is unlocked and just to come right in Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too, thanks again. Uh, well, time to move some boxes. Oh, okay, so we're in. I'll go and pick up the box. This one says that it must go to the baby's room. I haven't even explored the house yet. Ah, uh, so this is the uh, living room, right? Ah, the baby's room. We found it. Here you go. Got to keep moving boxes. Oh, turned on this TV. Is it at least a good show? Please tell me it's at least. Okay, guys, random TV turns on your house. What show do you want it to be? <laughs> I'm going with Beetleborgs. All right, that's my that's my uh, that's my pre preference here. This one says that it must go to the baby's bedroom. Ah, same room again. Here you go. Got to keep moving boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if my TV turned on right and it was just like a good show. I would probably completely forgot forget that it even turned on. And I'd just be like, oh, hey, I forgot that I put this on and just start watching it. <laughs> the ghost would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> this is not the right place. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I just turned on this guy's TV to scare him. And he's sitting here watching it. He grabbed some popcorn. He's sitting down and having a go good old day now. What's going on here? I got to keep moving boxes. Let's go. Come on. I'm doing my job so well right now, man. I am just an expert. Uh, I must go to the bathroom. Oh, I saw that. That was over here. There we go. Man, imagine you got to go to the bathroom. You got to walk through all these different rooms. Goodness, someone needs to tear down some walls. Then again, I guess in like 1980, 1990, this was a lot more normal. This one says that it must go to the living room. Oh, it's this one right here. I don't know about you guys, but uh, growing up, I was in a trailer park for a little while there. And I remember, dude, some of the best memories. Uh, this one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it? Uh, what? <laughs> You're just gonna open a random box? Okay, sure. There's a journal inside and some glasses. The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to- Oh, is this, this is supposed to be- What's his name? One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and she wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. February 14th, 2023. Oh, there's more. Part two, she started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Kapow! Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Okay, cool story, my guy. Some glasses, though. Okay, put this down. Um, you know, maybe we should leave now. I think I'll just leave this here. Or you just leave the whole house, but okay, sure. Like I was saying, though, back uh, in the original house that I grew up in, um, we got an N64, dude. I remember sitting on the carpet playing that bad boy with my family. It was good times. This one says that it must go to the bathroom. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and put this in here. There you go. Got to keep moving boxes. Yep, I'm doing my job best I can right now. Uh, this one says I must go to the dining room. This must be the dining room, right? Yeah. Got to keep moving boxes. Oh, we're almost done. Bedroom. Um, Bedroom? This room. Oh, okay. You know, this actually isn't a bad layout. Like, right next to the bedroom is the bathroom. Let's go through that door. Must go to the kitchen. All right, dude. If these other boxes don't go into the bedroom, I'm going to be so upset, man. I'm moving as many as I can. Got to keep moving boxes. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. And by the way, who is this guy talking to or working alone? Wh whoops. Come on. Uh, the bedroom. Um, right here. Aha. We're getting the easy ones done now. Got to keep moving boxes. Okay, this one says that it must go to the dining room. The dining room. Um, right here. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to think about it. 
You know, like when you're thinking about something and then all of a sudden you just start thinking about something completely differently? That's what happened right there. I was thinking, I was like, oh, in dining room. Then all of a sudden, like, you know, something just went right through my mind. I was like, oh, forgot all about what I was just thinking about. Someone doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it. Yeah, sure. There's a journal. Okay, here we go. Wedding rings in the journal. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she started threatening to leave me. After all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we se we should separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. Uh, oh, you were holding it like a trophy? Okay, weirdo. Uh, the death of a marriage. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I rem I'm reminded of how powerful I am. <laughs> this guy thinks he's a Marvel super villain. <laughs> He's got the he's got the emerald. He's got the gems right now. What is going on? It's gonna he's gonna start up Thanos' gauntlet any second. Oh man. Okay, so wait, we did it. The, oh, what's going on with the lights? Okay. Uh, where is this guy? He's gonna show up. He's gonna come like flying in like Superman, and just like put us down or something. I mean, I did my job, right? Am I about to just like get randomly jump scared? I mean, we opened the box. Yeah, we read this. Okay. Maybe it wants me to um. I'll put that there. Maybe it wants me to uh, inspect the rings? No. So, I don't know. We do what we had to do. I guess I'm leaving. Can I leave? Oh, wait. There's another box here. Wait, did I? Oh, is that blood? Oh, wait. Is that blood on the knife? The betrayal of a friend, part one. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness. A slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. <laughs> I actually think she's a superhero. When he asked me where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not really realizing that I was dead serious, but I knew I couldn't take any chances. The betrayal of a friend, part two. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Okay, buddy. Cool story. All right, put the, put this yeah, put that down. I think I'll just leave that there. Okay, is that all the boxes? Where'd that one even come from? I'm leaving. I'm really thirsty. I should go get something to drink in the... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I just read a bunch of horror stories about the guy that lives here. Obviously, just killing everyone, but yeah, I'm thirsty. I need a, a drink of water from this specific kitchen. Let's see. Hmm. I bet he won't mind if I take some of this juice. That's not juice. Time to go. <laughs> Just stealing the juice from him. Oh, man. These horror games like this are always so funny. Wait, who closed all the doors? Oh, wait, there's more boxes. Wait, is this one? Uh, this one doesn't. Okay, maybe I should open it. Is this real? Oh, frick. It smells horrible. The Vanishing Act, part one. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were, were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim, that I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that I could make it work. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some, of other, some other personal touches, to make it seem more convincing. I couldn't leave my Superman action figure, though. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with... Oh... Although I did, do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. All right, anything to make this guy feel feel powerful, goodness. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this guy can like change the world around him? We are in his world. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm literally in his world. Uh, okay then, this is definitely not normal. Am I just stuck in a PT hallway right now? Dude, guys, should I replay PT? I feel like that'd be so fun. I haven't played that game in so many years. I still have it on my PlayStation 4 because I never deleted it after I got deleted from the store. Hello? Hello? Crap, the lights are out. I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Come on, come on, come on. There, I can at least see where I'm heading now. Whoa, he put the table on the... Oh, 
Was that someone there? Oh, it was. I didn't get a good look at it, but he's gone. There's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. All right, who's calling me? Where is that even at? I don't remember seeing a phone. It must be in here. Hello? Oh. Yeah, I mean, we're in his world. Like, this guy is right. Yeah, we're just like little obstacles living in his world right now. What was, oh, the TV again. All right, buddy. You're gonna turn on the TV, put it on a good station. All right, I'm gonna head this way. When I come back, that TV better be on Blue's Clues or something good. See? Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. I see a door though. That's all that matters. Hello? Oh my gosh, a room with a phone in it. This is horrifying! Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was just to move the dang boxes, not to open them. How do you know I opened them? <laughs> there he is. Looks like Clark Kent right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is that from behind? You never know his next move. You never do. Well, guys, that was Peter's house. Let's go on to the next game. This is a fan-made uh, project based on Garna Ban Ban by the... Oh, didn't get to read that. Unique geese. That is definitely a unique geese. I've never seen a geese that's built like an egg before. All right, so this is Garden of Ban Ban reincarnated. It's supposed to be a more scary version, a scarier take on Garden of Ban Ban, obviously. I think it was made in a week, and that's really all I know. Um, we're gonna hop into this and see what it's like. Uh, chapter one, opening. All right, let's do this. Uh, is WASD to move? Uh-huh, eat and interact. Okay, here we are. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that looks a little weird. <laughs> we're in a... Uh... The Ban Ban Kindergarten that's located in the forest in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Huh. It was made in a week, guys. You gotta keep that in mind. Alright, what do we have here? If you can dream it, you can do it. It's so dark in here for some like there's lights on, but it's so dark. Uh Lenda helping and. Oh. Ah, there's everyone just relaxing, you know? Looking all cool. Doing whatever they're doing right there. Okay, I like that. Read. Hmm. I like to be able to see. <laughs> Is there a flashlight somewhere? <laughs> what does this say? A fatal error has occurred. Ooh. All right, let's go this way. If I remember correctly, ah, there's a flashlight. I figured there'd be one somewhere. Use it. Okay, it's one of these where the flashlight does nothing. Look at this. Look, I'm shining it right there. You can't even tell. Off, on. Okay, I mean, that was a little bit. Eat plain foods. Bread, cream, white sauce. Keep your body ticking. Mmm. Whoa, that's Bon Bon's cook, or, uh, Jumbo Josh cooking edition? I don't know. Jumbo Josh says eat fruits and veggies to grow strong. Get out of the way, Jumbo Josh, all right? I got places to be, people to see, my guy. What is this? Key card. Keep it in the kitchen. What's this? Oh, the lore! The lore! Rob, consider this my letter of resignation. In my 27 years of being a cook, I have never had such a miserable experience. There is no other kitchen stuff. Staff, so cooking, cleaning, plumbing, planning, plumbing, plan, any, everything was up to me. The only thing I wasn't in charge of was ordering supplies. So I was cooking the same food every day. These kids are going to get sick. There is no nutrients in the food we serve. I don't even know how this is legal. Not to mention the kids being so brutal and mean. <laughs> Jumbo Julie is not exactly a flattering name. Oh, wait, am I, I'm Jumbo Julie. Okay, well, whoops. Um, I know I'm overweight, but I can't handle hearing it. Two times, 200 times a day. Screw you, Rob. Screw Jumbo Josh and screw this school. Julie Winters. Jumbo Julie Winters. All right. Hey, you didn't have to put your name like that at the bottom. All right. It seems like you kind of like it if you're going to put it in quotes like that. All right. Let's go. Get out of the way, everyone. I'm making my way back to where the green key card goes. So it seems like to make it scary, they just made it very dark in here and added some blood on the walls. But it doesn't really look as day carry, you know? Like, this one, I feel like the police would be investigating. <laughs> they see, like, boarded up windows and blood everywhere. Like, yep, send the police. I think in the first one, it was supposed to be like, oh, it looks all happy and friendly on the outside, but then the further you go... Why can't I pick this up? There we go. The further you go, the darker it is. Band Band's Kindergarten and Daycare Center Repair Request Form. Please fill out this form to the best of your ability and send to the repair sector. Okay. Uh, September 12th, 2016. Bit of incident that my drone stopped working after hitting the button in the main hallway. I've already sent down my remote, but the drone is in the supply closet in the lobby. A waiting pickup. Monday through Thursday. Okay. Hmm. All right. So where's this drone at? Give me this. I got the key. Can't pick up the drone yet. I guess we'll be back for that. For the safety of your child, please check in at the front desk. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, you can go through here without needing to press the random button. That makes no sense. Opila's nest. Ooh. So we know she's probably gonna show up right here, right? It is so- Oh, look! There she is! Whoa, she looks like a 
Uh, look, she looks like a human. Look at that. I'm just slowly approaching her. <laughs> oh my gosh, my sensitivity's so high. There she goes! What do you got here? Uh, sharing is caring. Hmm. What's this? Subscribe and unsubscribe. Group Sarah, James, hmm. What is what is it doing that? Why is it doing that noise? I think it's because I'm pressing E. How do I hit this? I think I need the drone. Okay, we'll have to come back for that. I guess let's go into uh, Opila's nest. Hey, chicks, welcome to my nest. Before you enter, please take off your shoes and put them in the slots on the left. Be sure to follow the rules and have fun. I don't know what that said on the top left because I was busy reading the other thing, but all right, let me put my shoes. Oh, I can't take off my shoes. All right, made in a week, guys. You gotta keep in mind that if it was made in, you know, three weeks, I could have put my shoes in there. No running, no shoes, got it. I mean, I'm definitely breaking all the rules. Actually, wait, I'm a ghost. I don't even have shoes. Holy, I'm not breaking any rules at all. Uh-oh, Opila lost her eggs. Can you find all six of Opila's pretty blue eggs? Put the eggs back in their nest for an amazing surprise. Why does it look like her butt cheeks are on her front? <laughs> I gotta find the eggs. All right, let's see if we can find these. They're pretty cool so far, though. I'd love to see a version of this with like, you know, more than a week put in, because then, I mean, think about how cool it looked with all, more work. Like, even more time, I should say. Oh, man. All right, we found one egg, though. I gotta find a bunch more. There's a vent there. Seems a little dangerous if there's kids in here hanging out to have a giant vent here, but can't go in there. Then again, the first kind of band band has a literal pit of death <laughs> that they call a ball pit. It's a, literally just a giant pit that leads to straight death. So, I mean, I'll take a vent over that. All right, let's go this way. Oh, I can run, finally. I don't see anything else up here. I can ride the slide too, which is kind of cool. Oh, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Wait, let me. Wait, there's more eggs. Hold on, let me do these first. I don't know if I'm like if that's like the next part of the game or what. How many do I have so far? I think I have five. I mean, I might as well try to find like the last one. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? I feel like I'm in like Banjo Kazooie right now for some reason. I don't know. All right, there's nothing here, dude. Where is this last egg at? It's in one of the chairs, isn't it? No. All right, it's got to be in that thing right there, the slide. Put all these here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I need two more. All right, we're going in. Let's see what's down this very tiny slide. I'm going so slow through here, though. <laughs> My guy crawl through here or something. I don't think crouching is the fastest option at this point. Oh, what the heck is this? Where are we? We're in, like, the middle of the play area, I guess. Kind of creepy. What is that? Bunch of eyes? Or flowers? No, those are eyes. Huh. I love the eye wall. One of my favorite walls in the in my daycare that I attended as a kid. <laughs> the eye wall. <laughs> Let's go back. So wait, I'm guessing the last two eggs, one was there, so the next one's got to be in this other one to the right. Alright, let's do it. This takes so long to get through here, though. <laughs> my guy just really moves at a snail's pace. Oh. I see someone down there. Who is that? Who are you? Get out from down there. Show yourself. I don't know what that is. Is that Opila bird? It's gotta be. Oh yeah, that's her. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool to see her there. Yeah, that was cool. What was this saying? Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird. That was a pretty bird. <whistles> Give me that egg and we're out of here. So that's, that's kind of a cool way of like showing her. I mean, before it was like, she just kind of popped out of thin air and then started chasing you. <laughs> she took a conveyor belt across and then she was with you. <laughs> but I mean, this is creepier. All right, let's make our way back over here. We'll be there in about three to five years, guys. Just skip ahead in the video about five minutes and I'll be there, don't worry. <laughs> At least we finally have the, uh, the music back. Makes it a little bit better, crawling through this hole slowly. All right, let's give them the eggs. So I'm assuming that's where we gotta go next, right? The vent. Take that, take that, done. What was that noise? I heard something like slide open. Oh, this. Pick up your prize. <gasps> oh my gosh, a key card! That's why I always wanted when I was eight years old, <laughs> five years old, a key card. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go use this. All right, this is definitely different though. I like it so far, this is cool. Um, we got a blue one though. This is, oh, was, was there a blue? That's purple. Was there a blue room over here? I think so. Oh, wait, no, we're already in here. This is the blue room, though. I could have sworn there was a door in that room, though. Aha, I opened it. Screwdriver, open vents with your screwdriver. How convenient. 
Let's go ahead and make our way over to the vent and uh, get on in there. I don't know why we're going in here, but we are. Open that up. All right, let's go. Oh no, not another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys, I wish I had like a book. I could read you a few pages from it while we were in here. Cause like, we're gonna be in here for a while, it looks like. Don't tell, oh my gosh, this vent is huge. Oh, thank goodness. Holy thank goodness. Where are we at? Uh, what is, we're in the back rooms right now. It's kind of cool. So this would be like the background, like you go through the slide up there and you don't realize you're going through like all of this, I guess. Kind of a cool idea. Um, where do I go in here though? What's that? Listen up, oh, listen to your superior. You are nothing. Looks like a roach or something. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be Bon Bon or I don't know who that is. I can't get up there though. I don't think I can make that jump. I mean, unless I can go like this way. Let me see. No, I want to see if I can just jump up here because I, I think I need to do something over there, but I want to know. Okay, no. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to break it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm going this way. I'll do the right pathway. I'm sorry. All right, make this jump. Yep, easy. Make this jump too. Easy. This game also has the giant pit of death, but it's not right next to the children's play area. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, I'll take that as a plus. Let me in here. I can see the... Why can't I go through there? Hold on. Let me try this side. There we go. Apparently that little bar right there was stopping me. <laughs> That's all you need to put a stop to me. Just a little bar at, at my feet and I'm just can't do anything. Where am I going in here though? Hold on. There's multiple pathways. Oh no. I mean, normally I'd be fine with this, but moving at this speed. No. <laughs> One pathway is enough. Oh, I think they connect. Yeah, they, they connect. Okay. I was going to say, man, I'm not going back. <laughs> We're doing one pathway and that's it. Ah, oh, here we go. Looks like we're in the this way. Oh, it's her. Oh, Pila Bird. Who are you? Who are you? Where do I go? Get to the door. Where? Oh, I'm at. What is? Oh, <laughs> I'm falling, but very slowly. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, no. It's Jumbo Josh. He's, I think under his suit, he's a skull emoji. You guys see that? Uh-oh. Is that the end? That's the end. Thanks for playing. Check out how the game was made on Unique Geese's YouTube channel. I had a Black Rose Project. Uh, in less than a week, I went from zero game experience to working to working game. Oh, that's cool. Less than a week with zero game experience. That's pretty insane. Well, then. That was cool. Yeah, that was definitely cool. Um, it was definitely like a darker tone than obviously Garden of Bam Bam. I think Garden of Bam Bam was going for more of like a, this is an actual daycare and it, you know, it's supposed to have like hidden horror in it. This one was more like upfront horror, you know, like you're, you, you see this place on the outside, you're like, oh, it's boarded up. You see the blood on the walls. You go inside, you're like, okay, things are in here are going to be messed up. Garden of Bam Bam, I think was more of like, oh, you see this happy looking daycare. And then the further you go in, the darker it gets, but I don't know. Um, but still, regardless, this was really cool. I want to see chapter, like more chapters made and stuff like that. But then again, I think they'd have to change the name because, <laughs> you know, I don't think Garden of Ban Ban would be a fan of that. But yeah, this was really well made, especially for under a week of game experience and stuff like that. Like no game experience and under a week of developing it. That's pretty insane. So be sure to go check out their channel and show them some support. But anyways, let's head on to the next game. All right, guys, here we are with See No Fear. Let's press play and see no fear. If it would press play. Is it gonna play? Oh, there it goes. All right, interact, run. Okay, they're waiting, they're watching, they're waiting, they're watching, got it. Oh, what's going on here? Where am I? Is he, he's doing like a little rap right now, or a little like song. News, 23 interrupts your music with this message. Oh, someone's actually reading that. This is day 981. That voice is so low, I'm just gonna read it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh. Things are going bad. Oh my gosh. What happened? We okay? <laughs> Created by An overthinker. Rebecca! Bite-sized terrors. Rebecca! Hmm. See no fear. Rebecca! Where are you? Rebecca. 
Show yourself. Come back up. I don't know where I am right now. This is interesting though. It's like I don't have my glasses on or something. Where the heck do I go though? I hope this isn't one of those games where I gotta like wander around aimlessly until I eventually find out where to go. So far though, pretty spooky. I mean, think about it, right? If you wear glasses like this, this is what you see without your glasses. You get stuck in a forest, you lose your glasses. This is what it looks like for you. I imagine, I don't know. Oh, getting a message. Pick it up. What's happening? Why isn't he picking it up? What was that? I don't know what's happening right now. It's not like someone just crashed. Oh. Where is that coming from? Oh, what is that? Red. I hear it. Over here. Can I go through these? No. Where the heck does it want me to go? Oh, this way? It's gotta be. Oh, boy. This is weird. Oh, I should have been looking up. There could have been something above me. Look at this conveniently placed tree. It's right in the middle of everything. It's kind of cool. Well, um... What's in this forest with me? Because I can hear something. I just don't see any... Actually, the game is called See No Evil or See No Fear, right? So we might not actually see it. <laughs> we might just hear it. <laughs> we might never see the creature. That might be like the whole thing behind this game. It's like there is no creature. It's just like some guy in the woods messing with you because he can't see anything. Oh! Whoa, look at that thing. Ew. That thing's creepy looking. I like how you can hear its bones and stuff. What are you doing? I can't move. Uh. Ooh. Ew. Ew. Oh. Run? Oh. Um. I can't really run that well. There's something wrong with my neck. It's snapped sideways. I'm running like really weird right now. I'm running at like an angle. Oh, am I dead? No. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, kind of random to scream that. Maybe you shouldn't Rebecca. be and just. Forget about just Rebecca! Say Hello, forget about Rebecca! Where are you? We're being hunted by a monster right now. Is it still chasing me? Oh, we lost it. Am I supposed to keep going this way? Dude, where am I? I am so lost right now. I mean, at least I can run now. But I don't know where I am. I think I'm back where I was just running, yeah. Guess we got yeah, look, there's the weirdly placed tree! Okay, so we gotta go this way then. Alright, I'm back where she was, but... It looks like she's gone now, so we can probably go forward. I don't know where she went, though. She was, like, right here. Oh, what is that? Did I just get hit by a rock? What was that? <laughs> she's throwing stones at me! Where are you? And why are you throwing rocks at me? For no reason! That's rude! Oh, I hear something. I see, I think, an exit door? I'm gonna go towards that. We lost her pretty easily, though. Like, she was behind us. Boom. Gone. I'm sitting here running sideways, and I lost her. So imagine if I was running straight forward. Come on. Pick up. What is that? I can't tell what that is. It looks like something eating something. Oh, no. A house. We made it. Oh, there's someone in there. Let me in. Let me in. Move. Oh, hey, what the heck? Some... That was creepy. That was creepy. See, you don't need loud dum, dum, <laughs> jump scare noises. That was just creepy. Uh, there's someone at the window? No. The thing about this game is it's kind of hard to tell where you're looking in some parts. Oh, no. Oh, what was that? Where'd you go? Oh, she's under here. Nope. Where the heck? Oh, you went in here. Hold on, wait for me, I'm coming! Very slowly, but I am coming in here! Just give me ten minutes and I'll be down this staircase. It's like I'm back in the vents in Garden of Ban Ban reincarnated. Just give me twenty-five minutes and I'll catch up. Hold on. You would think I'd be, like, moving a little faster, right? Because I'd be so scared right now, but I guess not. You know, like the adrenaline would kick in or something. Oh, she's calling me? Rebecca! Oh. I'm coming! I'm coming, hold on! Wait! Rebecca! Rebecca, don't run! I'm coming! Is that Rebecca the monster, or I don't know? What is that? 
green thing right there lighting up. I have no idea, but I will find out. Is that an Xbox? I don't know what that is. We're so close. Come on, I'm about to start playing Halo on that bad boy. Oh, you stole my Xbox, Rebecca! How could you? What the heck is that? Ugh. Looks so creepy looking. All right. Can I? Oh, I should back up. All right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Actually, I'd rather go forward, but it won't let me. It only lets me go back. Uh. <gasps> oh. Bite sized terrors. See no fear. That was a pretty interesting game. It was, uh, it, you know, had it's some weird parts to it, but that was still pretty cool. Also, man, this thing, like, breaks your PC trying to play it, so, yeah. But it had a lot of creepy moments. Like, that thing at the door was creepy. That end segment right there was pretty creepy. I think the monster's just, like, yeah, scary looking. But <laughs> anyways, guys, that was another episode of Three Random Horror Games. They were pretty fun. We had some good times with these. So I hope you guys did, too. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe right now if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.